everyone and welcome back! If you're new here, my name is Matilda and I make videos about books, reading, writing and other things that tickle my fancy. Today I'm here to talk to you about Camp NaNoWriMo and how the event went for me back now in July and what I'm planning for the future for this project, for my writing, for this channel and so on. So when I announced to you my project for Camp July, I told you that I was going to work on a story where pretty much everyone but my main character got amnesia and she would have to navigate this new world and try to find out, figure out why people got amnesia, why she didn't get it, if there's anything she can do to help them get their memory back, etc. And I think I wrote about 8,000 words on that story before I gave up on it because um, I just wasn't ready for that kind of story, I guess. I do still think that's a cool concept, I just think it would need a lot more planning and plotting than I did. I don't necessarily think it's a story that I shouldn't write, but I do think it's a story that I shouldn't write right now. It just, it, it very much isn't the kind of story I would normally write. That doesn't mean it's not something I should write or could write or would like to write, but it does mean that it's not something I'm super comfortable with and I'm not familiar with the format. And one thing led to another. I lost interest. I lost the motivation for that story and I ended up swapping. Now, if you've been following along in my weekly writing vlogs, you will have seen that I've, or you will have heard that I changed stories. I went back to the story I paused at the end of June to work on this other story for July. However, I just could not tear myself away from that story completely and I went back to it, adding, oh, I don't know how many words I added to it, probably about 15,000 words to that story and I am very happy that I did that. It gave me the motivation back, it got me a lot more inspired because as you will see on my graph in just a moment, um, I lost some inspiration and motivation there for a while and it was just really fun to be back in that world again, that world's kind of being our world, but it felt really good to work on that project again and it made me realize how much I care about that story and about those characters. Now I mentioned my graph and I'm going to scoot over to the side so I can put it up here on the screen for you. This is how camp went for me. This is not how I intended camp to go for me. Now as you can see I did stick with the 30k goal. I didn't change that unlike back in April where I actually ended up lowering my goal. However, I um this was not intended. This gap of not writing for like a week, week and a half. I'm not currently looking at the graph as I'm filming this, so who knows? It just happened. It just turned out that I stayed on par or like slightly above par for the first week. Solid week. And then I didn't write for like a week. And that made me fall behind and it made me kind of stress. Now, if you've also seen my writing vlog from last week, I will have it linked up in the cards. I challenged myself to write 5,000 words in five hours one day. And I managed, I think, 6.2 thousand words in those five hours with longer breaks than I intended to. And you can clearly see that in this graph. Another really cool thing that helped me get words specifically on the 21st was the live stream relay that was hosted by people in my cabin. It was sort of a last minute decision. I think it was decided on the 19th or so, suggested on the 19th or possibly even 18th. And then we kind of just went all out uh, on the 21st. The live stream relay was a 12 hour write-a-thon split over six different channels within my cabin, each channel hosting for two hours. I had the honor of starting the whole thing off because of time zones, it ended up being me going first. So I ran it for two hours in the morning of the 21st and then Phoebe took over and then I think it was Jess, Kate, Kevin and Laura, I think in that order. As usual, I will have all my cabin mates linked in the description down below. And it was just a really, really fun thing. Now, I don't remember exactly how many words I got during that. I'll put the number on the screen somewhere, but it was a lot of fun. I was only able to be in my own stream and then I sort of lurked a little bit in Phoebe's and Jessica's before I had to leave for a birthday party but I didn't do any writing after my own stream had ended because I spent the rest of that time getting ready to leave and having lunch and so on. But it was a really fun event and it's not the only live stream I hosted nor attended in the month. I think all in all I did three or four over the course of the month which is more than I've ever done. I've never done live streams. I think I've been you know in the chat for a couple of them way back when and always arrived late or watched them after they were over because of 
time zones again but i was in three or four live streams this july and it was so much fun it was it was a lot of fun and it it was both fun to have co-hosts and to chat to people and talk to people and get to know them a little bit better as well as talking to people in the chat as well as actually having sprints hosting sprints or participating in sprints live and seeing people's progress throughout that in real time. I am a very big fan of word sprints. I do them a lot on my own as well. I will set the timer for 15 minutes and write. Sometimes I do it with Marcus and then I have someone I'm competing against or comparing myself to or who spurs me on, who I spur on. But it's been a while since I've done it live with more people than that. Before I moved, I used to attend some with the local NaNoWriMo group, basically. We would meet up in November and then sometimes in April and July and then sometimes during other months as well. And that was a lot of fun and I haven't done that in a long time. And it really reminded me how much I enjoy writing with or around other people. Again, we're all working on our own stories, but we're there doing it together. And that's a great thing for accountability, I feel like. Because if I set out to attend a 15 minute sprint and then I do nothing or I get 20 words because I got distracted by whatever, other people are there to laugh at me. If I just do it on my own, no one's there, no one knows, no one cares. And it really reminded me how much I like doing sprints with other people. Another thing I've also really enjoyed this month has been my cabin. My cabin has been compiled of a number, I don't know how many because I'm apparently bad at math, as you will have seen in last week's writing vlog, but a number of other author tubers, some of whom I've heard of before and whose content I've been following for a while, some people who are entirely new to me. And it's been a lot of fun to talk to these people in the cabin as well as on the Discord we created or on Twitter or in the streams. And I really do feel like I've made new friends through this. I would like to say a huge thank you to Kate Cavanaugh for inviting me to this cabin. I've had a lot of fun and I really feel like I've been a part of something bigger. I don't know, sometimes I just feel like I make my own videos and it's just me and I'm just here and I don't really interact with a lot of people. Part of that is because I'm very bad at commenting on videos. I'm trying to get better, but now I do feel like I have made new friends. I've gotten to know new people and I feel like I now have not a bigger voice. This isn't really making sense, is it? But I feel like I have, I have people I can reach out to. If I have a collab idea, or if I have questions, or if I have something else going on, I now feel like I have specific people I can reach out to as opposed to, hello, general writing community that is huge and you probably won't find my videos. I feel like I could easily tweet at Kevin or Chris or Phoebe and ask a question or, ask if they want to collab on a video or host some streams or whatever else and that is really really fun. It makes me feel like I'm a part of something bigger. It makes me feel like I have friends in the community and it just feels really nice to have met these new people and established these new friendships or acquaintances and it feels really good. I have also noticed over the course of July that I have gained a lot of new subscribers. I think I've gained over 50 in the last month and that is huge for me. I don't gain that many at all ever. So it's been really nice to realize that I've reached further this month. I don't entirely know if that's because people have found me through the streams and through other people's channels, my own streams, uh, via Twitter where I haven't really been active because come on, it's me, I don't really I'm not good at Twitter or if they've just searched for the content I've put out but it's been really fun to see this influx of people this month and I'm very very grateful to everyone who's subscribed or who's just swung by to watch a video. I would like to say a huge thank you to you guys. Now of course it's not all about numbers and I get that and I understand that but I would be lying if I didn't acknowledge this and I would be lying if I said that this wasn't a confidence boost because it has made me feel like I actually have something that people want to see, that people actually care about the content I put out and it's been quite the confidence boost and I'm very humbled by this. But yeah, the long and short of it is that I did win Camp NaNoWriMo without lowering my goal, which is not a first, but it's a nice change from April where I did end up having to lower my goal to still win. And this month has felt really good. The week where I didn't write did not feel great and there were a couple of days later on in the month where I also didn't write but overall it's felt like a really good month and I left July feeling motivated, feeling inspired, feeling like I really want to talk about writing, feeling like I really want to write, feeling like my story is actually good, which that fluctuates, not on the daily, but fairly often, 
but I left this month feeling good. I feel good about my writing, I feel good about my story, and I don't think that would have been the case had I forced myself to keep going with the amnesia story. Now I'm not saying I'm never gonna work on that again, but for now that's on some sort of back burner that I'm not gonna look at for a while until I possibly feel inspired again, or I'll just let go of it indefinitely. But regarding the story I actually ended up working on, which is April and Other Fools, I have a lot of inspiration for that one. I have a lot of motivation, I have a lot of ideas, both for the story itself, but also for videos regarding it. And I'm just now gonna segue into the next part of this video, which is upcoming videos on this channel. As some of you may know, parts of this story, the main chunk, like the vast majority of this story, takes place on Gotland, which is an island in the southeast of Sweden. I've mentioned this before, I will probably not stop mentioning it for a while, and today, August 4th, that is where I'm going. Now, I'm not going there purely for research, I'm not going there just because I'm writing the story. I am going there for Medieval Week, which is a week-long event where people dressed up in medieval clothes, renaissance clothes, there's a market, there's food, there's entertainment, music, shows, fire. Fire is a great entertainment. <laughs> and a lot of other fun stuff going on. And I'm going there because of Video Week, but because I'm working on the story I have quite a few ideas for things I want to film or talk about or show you that exist in this video on Gotland that my character experiences, that I will experience or visit or do or see and I'm taking you along with me because I think it's good for myself, for the research, for myself because I want to go, and I also think it could provide a good insight to this story and some of the things going on there. And I'm just really excited to bring you along and show you these things. You may have no interest in this at all, but I think it's really fun, and so I will have a video out on some of the landmarks and experiences and whatnot that my main character gets up to. I will have a video up soon telling you more about the story, giving you a synopsis hopefully, because I am finding it really difficult to actually summarize my story in a way that touches on all the important things, and I'm hoping to do that soon. I'm gonna try my hand at the author art challenge that I don't remember the creator of, but I'll put that in the description which I was tagged to do back in probably April and I haven't gotten around to it. I just have a lot of upcoming videos about this project, about this story, and I just wanted to touch on that and let you know that that's happening. I don't know how excited you are for it, but I am very excited about it and I'm hoping that you are too. And I'm hoping you'll enjoy it regardless if you're excited or not, because yeah, I'm excited and I hope you are too. <laughs> Now lastly, I also just want to say that I also intended to participate in the Camp in Sarimo challenge, which was an Instagram challenge, where every day throughout the month of July there was a prompt. You talked about certain aspects of your story, or you answered a question, or you took a picture of what you were drinking, and so on. And I made it seven days. I made it the same seven days that I wrote in the beginning and then when I stopped writing I also stopped updating my Instagram. I kind of want to try to finish that challenge now in August but it doesn't really feel right to do so, we shall see. But there were a lot of things that didn't go according to plan. I am however on the grand scheme of things very happy with how the month ended up going. I had some rough points there in the beginning, in the middle, in the beginning of the middle? Maybe it was the middle of the beginning. Who knows? I had some rough spots, but I did leave the month feeling more confident in my own abilities. I left the month feeling happier with my stories, feeling more motivated and inspired and excited to get this done. And I just want to say thank you for watching. I want to say thank you for interacting with me and I want to say thank you for subscribing if you've done that. I am so happy with how this month went and I do still have a long road ahead for this story. It is far from done. I'm sitting at around 38,000 words, I believe, and that is not exactly the amount of words I want, but I am pretty confident in my ability to get this done and I am excited to take you along with me on that journey. I don't really know what else to say here, but that is the end of this video and I just want to say thank you for being here and for watching this. Please let me know in the comments down below how Camp Tanorama went for you if you participated. If you didn't participate, are you working on anything? Are you writing anything that you want to tell me about? 
because I am always excited to hear what you guys are working on. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. So I shall see you then. Bye.